Lenore, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Zach? I'm doing good. So for this, so uh, so for this final project, me and Lenore decided, my partner of three years, decided that we would do the love attitude scales questionnaire developed by Clyde Hendrick and Susan Hendrick. We found this interesting for many reasons, uh, m many reasons, uh, but the results really speak for themselves. Speak for themselves. So first I wanted to talk about my results. I was Eros, uh, at 1.86, I was two for a gape, and I was third at 2.14. I was in the, I tested in storage. Now, what I gathered from this is Eros means I'm a passionate, romantic, loving person. I think that's come out a lot the I'm I've always been a very physical person. I've always been very intimate, um, and I feel like you know this obviously shows it. I definitely idolize my partner. I really do love Lenore in a lot of ways, and uh, I can't say that enough. I definitely have uh, have. Uh, a gape. I'm definitely giving, I'm passionate, and selfless. Um, I but I tend to do it for more of a. I'm a, I'm a big gifter. I like to give gifts um, to make someone's life easier. Uh, I think this is because I have ADHD and sometimes I struggle to stay attentive to someone's needs enough to provide service or be intuitive enough to provide service when needed. But I do know that the tools I provide uh, or give, usually they're technology-based. So, for example, I gave Lenore a pair of AirPods. I know those will go go far because that is a tool that she can use to free up her hands when we're talking. As we don't live uh, close to each other, Lenore lives in the D.C. area. Lastly, in terms of storage, compassionate, you know, that deepening long-term relationship is is something that I I definitely definitely uh, see you know I think you know Lenora is the longest relationship I've had by far and I think it's really proved to me how much I like having you know that reliable person I can depend on to be there day in and day out again having ADHD we get very codependent on the tools and things in our life we like routine and I think having that reliability, that rich love that we, we have and we share really allows us to be, um, you, know, you know, allows me to be more stable and happier. Um, I did tie with storage with mania. And sometimes I can get a little possessive or uh, obsessive. Um, I can get very emotional about my partner. I think that's really the mania that I fall into in that category. I, I do get very emotionally uh, um, tied sometimes because I, I get very sensitive. I think this comes down again to partially ADHD uh, and RSD, which is a phenomenon in ADHD. It stands for rejection sensitivity dysphoria. We get very, very, we really, really, really want to please those around us. And we get very sensitive though we get rejected because we put so much into trying to, you know, make that person happy. And as Lenore is my partner and someone I love, I definitely have noticed that and gone above and beyond. And I think, you know, you know, Lenore's appreciating that little mania side of me a little bit more, but it's still something that has been greatly reduced as Lenore has become such a reliable asset to me and my world. So Lenore, what do you think about my results?
I think they're straight on. Um, it wasn't eye opening for the most part. I felt like I really do feel you are a, a very compassionate person, very passionate of your interests. And I know that, you know, you're definitely very much interested in me. And I think that that's what drew me to you from the beginning was that we developed a connection, a very deep connection early on. Like we really learned a lot about each other um, and asked a lot of questions and got to know each other um, in, on a deeper level from, from the beginning. So I really do think that all of these, um, all of the scores here have, are exactly what, what I, I see in you. You know, you are a romantic person. You ha we do have this intense connection. Um, there is a lot of unconditional love and support here, which is really nice to see. I don't think I've experienced this unconditional love um, to this degree. So it's 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 really nice to to have. Um, so yeah, I totally agree with with all the findings here for you. Uh, you are a wonderful person inside and out and I just you know I, I can see it you know it's it's definitely visible here Lenore mentioned that uh, that we we, we got we connected very quick the first me and Lenore met over the phone uh, and very quickly for that first week we didn't know what each other looked like we just talked on the phone for three hours a day at least and when you have nothing else to talk about except your own, self and life those become very very passionate conversations very quickly um yeah. I, I, quickly usually when when what i realize is when people go out on dates they tend to focus on that third thing which is for example i would be thing one then i'd be thing two and if we're eating a meal together we're talking about the third thing would be the food in front of us or what's on the menu, or what movie do you want to go see? And there's none of that when you're on the phone. It's just talking about me and talking and, and, and talking about her. And I think that was very, uh, that was very great way to to introduce each other to ourselves because we had that storage of emotions and love and knowledge of each other that really helped deepen the relationship experience right off the bat just after three weeks it was like we were together for three months mm -hmm. that's true uh for three months went on weekly dates <laughs> um, um so lenore what what are your uh what what do you think of your results in, in, in the document i sent you yeah, I'm also not surprised with my results. Um, you and I are, are very similar. Uh, you know, I pretty much had the same, you know, just the same, the same scores that you did for the most part. Uh, my first, my first score was, um, or type was a gape, which is at 1.86, which talks about unconditional love, um, you know, that I'm a nurturing and caring person and that we look to support the other person, you know, my, our partners um, and put their needs before our own. So definitely I can see how you do that with me and I do that with you as well. So, you know, uh, I agree with that, with that result. And the next one is storage at 1.86, which is companionship, friendship, base love, um, commitment. I feel like we are in a long-term committed relationship. And I can see that more and more as, you know, years go on uh, and us wanting to grow together and share experiences together and have common goals as well as, you know, individual goals and, and come together. So it's really, you know, it, this isn't, again, it isn't surprising. The last one at two is arrows, which is uh, passionate and romantic love. Um, I, I definitely feel like we are connected emotionally. We, um, you know, we are romantic towards one another. You know, you, you know, send me really, really thoughtful cards. You buy me very thoughtful gifts. Um, you know, I, 
I'm not big on gifts, but you know, I'm more of acts of service, but I do appreciate the gifts you give, you give me, you get me. They are very thoughtful each time. Um, but yeah, like, you know, it's, it's, you know, this again, it isn't surprising to me. The results are not surprising. It's, it's nice to see that we are more alike than different. I'm going to, am I allowed to reflect on, on your results? Of course. So I agree. I think we we have overlaps, but the way we express it is different. So for example, I, I think based on my upbringing growing up, you know, um, I was, my parents always gave me gifts and always, you know, um, uh, my parents both worked really hard. Um, and we're, you know, we're financially privileged and therefore, uh, um, because of that, you know, they were constantly buying me things. And I think that's kind of how I learned to, because they were busy and they wanted to, to, to give us things we could enjoy or be interested in. Uh, and so they would, and, and so they give me gifts. And I think I, I, like I said, I like to, to give gifts because they feel like that's giving someone else a little piece of me of a little piece of my knowledge that could help them. So for example, with the AirPod, the AirPod pros, I was giving Lenore a, a tool to make her life easier because it's something I've enjoyed and, and knew, knew would be, it would be good for her. You know, even though, you know, Lenore is sometimes slow to, to integrate those, those, those gifts into her life. Uh, when she does, I know she really appreciates it because it kind of clicks. It's kind of like, oh, I get it. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think it's also interesting that with Lenore is super, super caring. When I visit her, she's always taking care of me and, and going above and beyond. And so, like, you know, so, so she's very good about service. And, you know, I think that that is a testament to her more humble upbringing, but also just her character and nature of, of, her, of, of her own golden heart. All right. So I definitely, definitely, you know, see where this, you know, this over this overlap was mm -hmm. um, similar, but different is the way I would kind of summarize us. Lastly, uh, what, what are your takeaways fr from this, uh, Lenore? You know, what, what are you walking away with this? What, yeah, what are you walking away from this for your own knowledge? Like, what did you learn? I mean, I feel like, you know, I, you know, a lot of what a lot of these results were exactly what what I would hope to to experience in a in a deep committed relationship. And I feel like that's that's what's happening here. Like we see what we both already know because we know each other really well and we're very open and honest with each other. There's a lot of trust here, uh, a lot of honesty. Um, and because we we really have similar backgrounds um in the therapeutic world i feel like we're we're going towards the right direction long term you know in a in a really wonderful and committed relationship it, it's really nice it's really nice to see so i definitely you know i don't know if i've learned anything new here but it just um solidifies what i already you know already knew i think even the part that i wasn't similar in you is you know the part that you had mentioned the mania Part, um, which it was nice to see on paper because I'm like, oh, that, yeah, that's, I, I see that. And I love that part of you where you're just intense about the things that you enjoy and love. Um, so that's what I learned the most, you know, was just that we're very, we're very, we're very alike and different in certain, in, you know, and different in some ways as well, but overall we get along really well. So it just, I think it makes, you know, the results here really make our relationship show that our relationship is very strong. Oh, you're so sweet, honey. It's, I, I what I take away from this is it really kind of clears away all the emotional clutter. I know at times you know, every couple has those, you know, peaks and valleys, those, those emotional waves. And I feel like this 
kind of clarifies things, you know, by taking out the emotions. You know, mm-hmm. when I get frustrated with you, you know, I'm just like, is this going to work? Is, is, is this going to, you know, hold out? But, 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 but something definitive like, like this questionnaire, and Lenore is a huge fan of questionnaires, kind of clear mm-hmm. as much as I hate doing them, ADHD, I do, <laughs> I do see how it kind of, you know, cuts away at, part of my friends cuts away at the bullshit really helps yeah. give concrete evidence like look you have this going for you um yeah and i really am uh you know i really am grateful that we have this because you know it answers it answers a lot of questions which 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 is why we decided on it in the first place well i want to thank lenore for her time thank you even though we lost her video feed Oh, can you can you see me now? Yes, there there is that face. And Sorry, my phone is uh, low battery. So I want to tell her thank you. And thank you. I and I'm grateful to have you. Anyway, honey, I love you. I am grateful to have you as well. Love you too. Good I'll, luck with this project. I'll, You're I'll, doing great. I'll I'll see you for Christmas. Sounds great. Take care. You too. Bye.